What's up guys, so I'm in the studio and I like this track, so I want to make it. Mm. A. Mm. So first up, violas, let's go. Next up, we're gonna add bass strings. Now, this is what they sound like. This is how they create suspense feelings often in movies. And sometimes if they wanna juice it up, they might add some brass, like. Next up, we're gonna add a little bit of a piccolo flute solo. Beautiful, but I'm gonna bounce between articulations. So articulations is how it's played if it was by a real flute player. So say for example, it's long, that means it just plays out. A lovely bit of vibrato comes in, beautiful. But sometimes you might wanna use staccato, which is like, You'll hear it, you'll hear it, I'm bouncing between articulations. Um, that is one of the keys with making an orchestra sound realistic, is the dynamics and articulations emulating a real orchestra. We've also added in conga drums. So if you hear those, that is step number, are we on step number four? I think we are. Right, let's play it. Let's, let's crack on, let's keep going. So now we're gonna start juicing it up. So I'm gonna open up the Hans Zimmer percussion kit, which is a VST, which is it's just like orchestra percussion, but Hans Zimmer helped put it together himself. And if you don't know about Hans Zimmer, he makes the music for a lot of the, the best movies. So, right, uh, let's have a listen. Hey, so I like See, this stuff's gonna work well. So just like bringing in the impact on the beat. So, right, let me, I'll add that as step number five. You'll hear those. If you hear those, then you know where it's come from. Let me show you this. If I solo the congas, this is what they sound like. So that's just the congas on their own. But listen to how much more punchy it sounds when we add in the low booms. Listen. Mm. That low rumbling. That's the purpose that they serve. Right now, I'm going to show you a big trick of the trade that they use in the movie industry with the music all the time to switch it up and keep it fresh, keep the music dynamic and keep you ultimately keep you engaged. So any music is, is in a key. So we're in the key of G minor. That's G minor. That's a perfect fifth. That's what Marvel love, the perfect fifth. Why? Because that's the one, two, three, four, five. Cut out all the middlemen. And you're just left with the, the one and the five. The most powerful combination in music, the perfect fifth. That's why Marvel use it all the time. Why is it the most powerful? It's because the frequencies, the way they combine, it is the maths of the frequencies. It's just, it, it creates this feeling of power. Anyway, uh, I'm digressing. So the trick that they use in the film industry to keep the music fresh is they move three semitones away from the that they're in so we're in g if you move up any the next key along is always a semitone so that's a semitone away that's another semitone that's another semitone so from there to there's three semitones right so enough talking enough music theory you guys know the music theory now of one of the biggest secrets that the movie industry uses to keep you engaged so we're in the key of g and we're going to go down three semitones so one two three we're gonna to go to here and we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but three semitones down and listen to how it completely freshens up everything. Let's go. Mm. Did 
you hear it? That's how they do it. It's a sly one. But now you know. So we're going to incorporate that and we're going to put it into this track. A subtle little running hi-hat. And how that is achieved is this is just a hi-hat sound on its own. But you put it on an arpeggiator. And that's what this is. This is the pattern. So it starts loud and it gradually gets quieter every four beats. It's the details. Come on. So that's that. If I quickly show you the practical application of that. So these are the congas on their own. Now we're going to add in the hi-hats. It just adds to it. And then I also added another layer of congas. Just to boost it a little bit. A little bit more going on. Sick. Right, what else have we added in? So I've also added in some horns. Listen out for those when you hear it in a second. I've also added a triangle sound. Yeah. As the track progresses, I wanted to take it a bit hardcore as well. So to achieve that, I've added in some rock guitar. All right, let's play it and see where we're up to. Let's go. That's it. That's how it's done, guys. That is how it's done.